contracts with defense. They don't have a they're gonna go they're gonna, they're gonna go no they don't have to go out and get a goalie now yeah. more defense. But and, other than that, some interesting goalie options in the offseason too. What about bringing Devin Dubnik back? Does he want to relive that experience? I don't know. What about Andrew Hammond? Good luck. Good luck, man. We're looking forward to that. <laughs> Uh, Craig in London, you're on Sports Center 590 Fan Court. Hey, how are you? Good, you? Good, I, 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 I talked to my wife about the sort of conspiracy theory that uh, this is true, God knows everything for $14 million. Uh, Stop. Uh, Stop. Conspiracy music time, please. Stop it! Listen to this. No. This is serious. So me and my, me and my buddy Jude are tweeting on the weekend back and forth. Jude, oh, he's like, he does the Leafs Hub blog. Smart guy, he knows that he researches everything. So, yeah, hey Jude, I call him. Don't make it bad, take a sad song, make it bad. So, he and I, Craig, listen to this, this is the true story. Yeah. So, Daryl Cates loaned Sherry Bassin $4.5 million a couple of years ago. Yeah. You're aware of that, right? Absolutely. Daryl Cates owned what team? No, yeah, oh, Hang on, let me finish. Don't okay, go ahead. Tell people to stop it. Man. Go talking. Thanks, man. Um, Daryl Kate says, I want my money. Sherry's like, I don't guess your money. He goes, oh, I'm suing it. Then Sherry Bassett goes, guess what? We're bankrupt. Oh, guess who wins the draft? Yeah. Craig? Right. Craig, who won the draft? Yeah, Everton. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite. Why, did the NHL, why would the NHL care more about the Oilers than anybody else? There's the question. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Instead of making the hundreds of millions of dollars in Connor McDavid's 15-year career yeah. here in Toronto, let's worry about less than five mil. Can I make one more point? If it's a good one. Yeah. About that fourth pick, I believe. I'm from London. I really like Mitch Marner. All right. Do you see him play this year? Is he he's the real deal? They actually, you know what? Throw by four points by four, four more games. But they play on the same line as the Kings, but they play on the same power play. There's nobody I've seen this year. I've been a Knights fan for a long time that plays a 24 game like this. Coming up on the show, 8:45. 45. Two points a game. Football. He back checks too. Does he play D? Does he back check? Yeah. Mitch Marner? Yeah. Does Mitch Marner back check? Uh, I think we lost him. That's the question. Maybe you can teach Phil to back check if Phil's still here. Well, as he makes that question, and for it, does he back check? Who cares? To score two points a game, I don't want you to back check. It's all else to back check. Bob and Toronto, you're on Sports at 590 The Fan. Morning, Dean. Uh, I was actually going to bring up the same point where Erie owed Edmonton money to all conspiracy theory. Well, the previous caller already said that. So, in regards to Edmonton, uh, I know they're not going to deal with McDavid. It'd be ridiculous if it is. One player on target from Edmonton would probably be the Leon Dreisaitl. Big, uh, big center. I mean, they already have RNH locked up. Yeah. They, I guess they may be willing to deal Dreisaitl. That's someone that I would probably target. Uh, who knows? They got a draft first. The first thing they have to do is get him, and then they can figure it out. But yeah, uh, and, and it's going to be a year or two because Dreisaitl, I think he's got two left on his, his entry level, two years? He's got two years left on his entry level, and, and, and they don't have to worry about that for a couple of years right now. The only piece yeah. the Leafs have appreciated to move up in the draft or is Morgan Riley, and you don't, just don't want to part with that. That's really the most attractive piece. Then, to a lesser extent, if you want to get rid of Morgan Riley, no, uh, yes, to don't. move up one spot in the draft, the answer is new, 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 new. Anyway, fun to talk about. I think there's something to the whole conspiracy theory in the area, though. That's a, that's a terrible conspiracy theory. Hey, coming up in a few minutes, we're going to qualify. Someone sent him down courtesy of Porter Escapes to see the uh, Wizard Draps. Two games. Trip for four. So be listening for that. Day 15. Speaking of the Raps. Joining us on the telephone, uh, assistant coach for the Toronto Raptors, Mr. Tom Sterner. Hey, man, how are you? Good, guys. How are you? We're doing good. Thanks for taking time out to do this. So, how'd you go the other day? Well, um, obviously it didn't go as well as we planned. Uh, you know, the outcome wasn't exactly what we wanted. But, you know, in any game that you play, there's good and bad. And so you've got to, you know, continue to, you know, pump what we're doing well and fix the stuff that's bad. You know, it was, it was interesting because, you know, everybody,
everybody, you know, when, when you discuss the, the woes of the Raptors, specifically down the stretch and majority of this year, uh, defense has been the issue. Defense was unbelievable on the weekend, and it, it was just, you know, shots weren't dropping uh, and, and had a hard time uh, defensively on the boards. And how do you how do you then, it's, it's kind of feast or famine, I guess. Yeah, how, do you, how do you then fix that as a, as a coaching staff? Well, I think what you do is you, you go out and, and you try to show the players that we have confidence in them. And, and uh, I, I don't expect our starting five to go 0 for 11 for three. I don't expect that again. And so what, that's what we have to accentuate the positive, the fact that we went out and, and really guarded. Uh, we held them to 39%, 28 from three. Uh, the thing we need to clean up at the defensive end is the number of offensive rebounds. There's 19 of them. That meant we had 19 other stops that were, were going on throughout the game. If you get half of them, you win the game by 10. It's just on your defense alone without doing anything to your offense. So that's one of the things we have to do to continue to maintain is that defensive intensity. That will carry you through in most games. The fact that we did make some shots out of our...